Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Some of you will know me as Tef, some of you know me as Pickle, some of you were a bit close to me, you know me as whatever you know me as. If you found yourself through YouTube's recommended system, don't know you, what you've been watching to get here, but welcome. If you found me through my Twitter, Tumblr, or my streams, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. I wanted to take a little bit of time out of both my day and yours, obviously, you're watching this. Uh, talk about something that affects millions and millions and millions of people all over the world. It destroys families, it wrecks homes, sometimes it could even bring the fall of a nation. And this thing's got a particular name, and that name is cancer. The reason why it destroys it so badly is because of its length of time to kill. It's a horrible disease. We all know this. And those who have experienced it will know how bad it is. Those who have fought it in one will know how much of a task it is to beat it and to succeed in your battle. Now thankfully, I'm not somebody who's physically currently facing that, thank God just for that. You can breathe a sigh of relief for you. But however, I am facing the ugly side of it, which is having to look at it, destroy one of my family members. And trust me, it's, it's pretty bad. Over the last two years, my absolute number one woman in my life has both beaten cancer and has been beaten down by it. She beat lung cancer first, quite remarkably too, taking a slightly experimental treatment called immunotherapy, if you don't know about that. I'll answer comments and questions about it down in the comments section if you want. And shrunk her tumour seven and a half centimetres seven and a half centimetres, about, just like that, in her chest down to just two and a half within one week. Doctors were thrilled and so, was, so were we, whole family was, whole family was really excited about it and it looked like she was clear. And here's the, <laughs> oh, here's the fucking kicker about cancer. It doesn't care if you've beaten it once. It has that capacity to come back and, and say, no, I will be your Grim Reaper. My grandmother is currently dying of one, definitely one, uh, possibly two brain tumours. Herein lies the problem. She's she's grown tired. She's tired of that fight. The last fight was massive, massive fight. So tiring. To care every ounce of strength and life that she had left in her to make sure she stuck around for us. But now she has decided that it's time for her to go. And to be fair, she's done a lot. She's done a lot of stuff. She has married several times. She has had three lovely, wonderful, successful children. And she even semi-adopted a fourth, which was me. This woman took me in after my mother not being, you know, too well equipped in terms of maturity to take care of me at the time of her age. She took me in, I'd say really sort of full time, 
about six years old. And since then she has taught me how to be human. She taught me how to be a good human. She taught me how to behave in society. She taught me everything that I know. Passed on every single aspect of wisdom she could. She was my rock. And even now, even though she's kind of going, she still is. In following sort of maybe three, four months, you might see a real drop in productivity from me. Picked a fucking noisy place, didn't I? Especially to live. And the reason for that will probably be that my grand does go. And that's going to suck for me. It'll suck for you guys, you won't get any more content. But hey, what can we do? It is my personal opinion that not enough is being done by society to rid society of this. Of this, this aspect of our lives, a potential aspect of our lives that destroys families and kills people indiscriminately. No matter whether you're bad or good, it'll kill you. And because of this, I just want to let people know that I've done quite a bit in terms of my donations and so on. And if you think that you're somebody who, oh, there's no cancer in my family, I've got perfect fucking genetics, I'm fine. Oh, right, that's fine, that's fine for you. Congratulations. But what about if it's your eventual family? What about if it's your future wife's family? What about if it's your future, God, God forbid, if it's your future child? You can be the healthiest person on earth and you may still succumb to it. I genuinely believe that we need to do more if we are going to triumph over the latest thing to really threaten us as humans. It's happening more often, more people are getting it, more people are being diagnosed with it and you could say yeah, maybe that's linked to better detection methods, oh, well, I'm sure some of it is, but it's still alarming how many people are being affected by it. I mean affected as in, you know, Having to look it in the face and say, fucking hell, why are you here? Human race has managed amazing things. We've built tall structures. We've built even the concept of a society. We've waged wars. We've killed millions of our own. And somehow managed to annihilate other diseases that would have completely decimated our populations. I'm talking about smallpox there. Somehow we're not reacting to the disease as we should. I, I don't think we are anyway. Down below in the description there is a link. And that is to Cancer Research UK. If you've got anything, be it a few pence to a few pounds or above if you feel you need, I urge you to go and donate. So that for the sake of your future families, your children's future families and your grandchildren's future families, they will be rid of something that is so horrific in our lives. That's going to do it for my vlog today. I feel pretty dark. <laughs> but I hope you understand the point of the message. In our tiny actions, we can make sure that somebody else doesn't die. Maybe even to the point that somebody else doesn't have to face it at all. Thanks guys, thanks for listening.